Hello. Today I'm going to um, get some potatoes out. Now these are the potatoes that you've probably seen in the past in different slideshows and videos and stuff like that. I planted them last winter. Ideally I'd probably let them grow a little bit longer and probably towards the end of summer earth them up and see how they're going. Now you can see behind me this is the container that I've got some of them. I was putting them in containers this year to kind of, I didn't have the space and wanted to see how they were going in containers. So probably won't get as much of a crop because they're too self-contained. But it's easy for me to empty them and then sort them out and then I can tip, I'll tip all of this into the actual wheelbarrow, sort out, take out the potatoes and then the wheelbarrow will actually be able to just tip straight back into the garden. So be able to use the soil again. So in that respect, it's good and I had the containers. Now you can see these ones have died right off of that. These are some of the things that the sheep ate when they were hanging around and getting out and stuff like that. So they pretty much, the other, some of the other potatoes that they didn't get to was, are still green. But these ones just got eaten and then try and water them and eaten and they just got knackered. So they've died off a bit. So I'm literally going to earth it up now, we'll empty it out and we'll see what we get, alright? Alright, so I don't know what's going to happen. Alright, so we've got a nice big cube of soil. And lots of earthworms. and a few spuds. So, nothing really in this one. Hardly anything. So, there's another one. There's one I wouldn't even worry about. And that's it. They just got hammered so often, like that they never had a chance to really kind of recuperate so to speak and this barrel in particular got neglected a fair amount so that's why it's yielded such a poor crop I reckon I knew they were going to be bad because of everything that had happened to them but that's the way it goes sometimes I guess there's another one Oh, oh, there's a good one. Look at that. It's alright. I spoke too soon, I think. Oh, that's about it. I'll sort through it a bit more. But... The soil's still good. Nice and dark. It's still got a lot of matter in it. Which is good. But... I don't think that they really had the volume size to actually kind of grow. There's another worm. Yeah, that's basically it. So, hopefully the other ones will do a bit better because I'm still watering them and they're still nice and green and they seem to be kind of kicking on a bit. But these ones... Oh, there's another one. Here we go. Just didn't get um, looked after properly. They were neglected a bit. And they um, just keep getting uh, rocked about by getting eaten and pulled out and stuff like that. So I knew it wouldn't yield much. There's another one. So not much for the effort, really. So, a bit of a waste of time, but that's the way it goes. I guess sometimes some things do well, some things don't. And it's too early. Like, you know, you can dig up potatoes this time of year, but um, it's a bit early in my book. So, nice healthy soil. This soil I'll put back into the garden bed, so it'll be cool. It'll get turned back over again. But... That's it. Not many spuds. <laughs>
So I'll do another potato video in probably about five weeks or thereabouts and hopefully we'll have a bit more with the other ones, have a bit more luck anyway. So, so generally pretty crappy kind of yield as far as that goes. They were doing really well, but then yeah, that's what happens sometimes. The sheep get in or animals get in and pull things out and you replant it, it stunts the growth and all that kind of stuff. So at least I'll be having I'll have mashed potatoes tonight. Or maybe something else. It's about thirty something degrees today, so it's fairly warm. So maybe I'll have something else to eat. Yeah. So there's my spuds. Cool. But that's an easy option as far as the container's big enough, you can do that. You can just literally dig them up, you won't miss any or lose any. You just sort it out and then you empty everything straight back onto your... Oh, you can put it onto your compost heap for a bit of soil in amongst the other stuff. Or you can just um, empty it straight back into the garden and use it that way, so... Cool. I'll get some of those worms out and put them into other garden beds so they don't dry out in that wheelbarrow. But yeah, oh well. Hopefully better luck with the next ones. Cool. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.